With the release of the new Christopher Nolan film Oppenheimer on July 21st, the IMAX theater at the Indiana State Museum has been thrust into the spotlight. That's because it is one of just 30 theaters across the globe capable of showing the film as Nolan intended, in 15 perforation, 70mm film. Oppenheimer took the theater's chief projectionist, Wayne Indyke, more than three days to assemble, from 53 smaller reels shipped to the theater in the days leading up to its release. In total, the film weighs in at 600 pounds and runs more than 11 miles from its first to final frame. The film will be the only one shown at the single-screen six-story theater during a three-week period, as it uses an entirely different projection system than most other Hollywood releases shown there. The movie is expected to out-earn other top flicks like Top Gun Maverick, Avatar The Way of Water, and Spider-Man No Way Home by the end of its first weekend in the theater, making it the State Museum's best performing film in the post-pandemic era. While there will be nearly 350 screenings of Oppenheimer in central Indiana during its opening weekend, only those at the Indiana State Museum will be on film, as Nolan intended it to be seen. For Indyke and other staff at the theater, being the only place within more than 200 miles to offer that perk is worth the laborious task of putting the film together. <laughs>